Most people think when you trade stocks on Robinhood or Webull, you are trading stocks real time. You are not. It looks real sexy on the front end of that app, but in reality, if you scratch a few layers deeper, it's just like the banking system, kind of archaic and slow moving. So you have six clearinghouses and they maintain relationships with the brokers like E-Trade and eToro and Webull and Robinhood and all these other applications that you use that are brokers and they sell you these stocks. They purchase the stocks from the clearinghouses. They send them the money. It takes a whole day for that money to settle now. It used to be T plus two or three. So basically there's a line of credit that these clearinghouses extend the brokers. And there's not an accounting mechanism across all six of the clearinghouses and all the brokers to make sure they don't oversell a stock. This happened and was illustrated by AMC and GameStop back in 2021 when everybody got pissed off that they got their stocks taken back from them on Robinhood when Robinhood sold them AMC and GameStop that they shouldn't have. They actually oversold the stock across all the brokers. 139% of the stock was sold. More shares than even existed were sold. So that's why they had to freeze trading. And the clearinghouses put out so much money on all that that they ran up the credit lines and they were like calling it. They said, no, nope, no more trading of these stocks. We have to pause this. We cannot count for all this. And so they froze trading on those two stocks. And again, everybody was mad, but this is because there's no real-time settlement or accounting mechanism across the back end of the stock market. And so effectively, that is what Project Ion is, which was developed by the DTCC and R3. It allows for a full accounting of all the stocks on the back end of the stock market and real-time settlement between the counterparties that are settling these transactions before they get to you, which is the retail investor. So they'll move to real time and you could actually trade stocks. I think they're going to move to 24-5. So it would be 24 hours, five days a week. Weekends will still be off for the stock market. At least that's what I've been told.